Thank you, everyone, for subscribing to Infinitely Productions. Before we introduce our next guest, we want to give you a little bit of background information. If you're from the Philadelphia area, this man is a legend. He has been working for the Philadelphia Inquirer for many years. Many people consider him to be a mafia expert. He's respected amongst his community, especially in terms of organized crime telling, journalism, and he's been reported on 60 Minutes. You may also recognize him from Fox 29's YouTube channel, The Mob Talk, with David Schratweiser. He has made many books. One of them he is very famous for is The Blood and Honor Inside the Scarfo Mob, to his Dr. Dealer, the 2020 edition, not to be mistaken for the Mark Bowden book. This one is published in 2020, labeled as Dr. Dealer. Please give a warm welcome to our special guest, Please give a warm welcome to our special guest, Mr. George Anastasia. Good to be here. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. So I just have some questions I'd like to ask you, too. And I've also, like, since we've been corresponding since yesterday about um, former, former mob capo, Mr. Michael, Michael Franzese. Did you get a chance to see the video about the five myths? Yeah, I saw that. I wasn't aware of that, but you, you sent me the link and I watched it yesterday. Yeah. Was and there? I just want to go, go ahead. ahead. There's so much misinformation. You know, there's misinformation about everything online, but there's so much inf misinformation about my former life. And he goes on to quote, you know, informants told him this and that. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now informants lie. A lot of the times they get up there and what they say is self-serving. They try to ingratiate themselves with the government. Not all of them and not everything they say, but come on. Hey everyone, welcome to another sit down with Michael Francis. Hope everybody is doing well. All is very good and blessed on this end. And as always, I give all the praise, honor, and glory to my Lord and Savior for that. What are we going to do? You know, some things drive me a little bit crazy. And when it comes to people talking about Mafia, Cosa Nostra, and they just get things wrong, but they speak with such authority like they know what they're talking about. And a lot of so-called experts, uh, I think you're guilty of that. Now, they're not going to admit it, and people don't know. I mean, what do you know, you know? But there are a lot of people out there, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube that's just inaccurate. It's just not true. Not about anyone in particular. I'm talking about the operation of Cosa Nostra Mafia in this country in general. And I was reading an article, and it got to me a little bit. When I say got to me, I say, yeah, here we go again, by an expert. And I have nothing against this guy, and I'm sure he has credentials, and he studied the life and he knows it fairly well, but he still gets things wrong. And he's a reporter. His name is George Anastasia. I believe he worked in Philadelphia for many years. He covered the organized crime, the mob. He was a reporter for, I think, The Inquirer, one of those papers there. He wrote a couple of books, and I understand they were very good. You know, so again, I'm not knocking him as a whole, but this article that I read and that he uh, wrote and he talked about were five myths of the mafia that he claimed were five myths of the Mafia. So I read it. So for him to say that this is a myth, he just made this up. The Mafia never interacts with other organized crime groups. Where did he get that from? Is that stated anywhere? Did anybody say that? No. You know, so I don't know why he just called it a myth when it really isn't a myth. So as far as I'm concerned, he made five Mafia myths here, and not one of them are right. And, you know, the reason I'm saying this, people, again, there's so much misinformation. You know, there's misinformation about everything online. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, you know, I, I, I was not aware. I, I, here's my take on that. 
I think, uh, you know, uh, Mike Frenzies does a, a podcast and he needs, he needs content. And I think he, he found that Washington Post article and decided he could do 15, 15, 15, 20 minute riff on it. And that's what he did. I, you know, I, I don't want to get into a big debate about this. I think it's a question of semantics. And I think he misconstrues the meaning of the word myth. I mean, just one example. A myth is a perceived truth that isn't true anymore. That's what a myth is. And for one example, um, the mob making ceremony is a secret ceremony. That's a myth. It's a myth now because the government's recorded four different ceremonies. Mob members have testified. So it's not a secret anymore. So, you know, while it may have been a one time a secret ceremony, and technically speaking, if you're getting made, it's still a secret ceremony. There's nothing secret about it. And, you know, he, we, we, I mean, we can quibble back and forth about what a myth means. Omerta, the code of silence, that's a myth. Uh, he took, he t- took issue with that. It's not a myth, he's saying. Well, there have been so many guys who took the oath and subsequently became government informants and government witnesses that it is a myth. Oh, the code of silence, Omerta, it, it, it doesn't apply anymore. So we can go on and on and on and pick apart each one of those five myths that he took issue with. It, it's, I think it's a question of semantics, his interpretation of what a myth means as opposed to what I believe a myth means. And, uh, you know, we, we can disagree. Okay. I just wanted to summarize all that, too, so we don't have to go over each and every one because, of course, we just wanted to summarize everything. Well, thank you for answering that question. Now, I just had questions about, like, the work that you currently do. Like, are you still doing more mob talks or doing any more podcasts? Yeah, I'm doing it uh, uh, with Dave Schratweiser, the former reporter for Channel 29. He and I both retired. We used to do a a segment called Mob Talk for Fox 29. Now we do something on, uh, uh, it's called mobtalksitdown.com. It's on YouTube. And we do, uh, every other week, every month, we do a report on the status of what's going on in the Philadelphia underworld and and beyond. So, you know, we're trying to keep, current and keep up to date. Um, and quite frankly, what's happened in the last four or five months is we've had to uh, drift far afield from Philadelphia. There just isn't that much going on anymore in the Philadelphia underworld in terms of organized crime. So really? We, we talk about New York. We talk about different parts of the country. What else is happening? Philadelphia mob is, is still out there, but it's not anywhere near what it used to be even 10 years ago. Um, and if, if and I, I mentioned this before when I talked to people. The last, I, I retired from the Inquirer 10 years ago. 10 years ago this month, in fact. But the last couple of years at the Inquirer, I probably spent more time writing about uh, drug gangs, black and Hispanic drug gangs, than I did about the mafia, Cosa Nostra. Because those were the gangs that were having an impact on the city. The mob had, but the mob was, was no longer the dominant player in the open. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more content. Feel free to give us your feedback and suggestions on who we should do next in the comments. This is Infinitely Productions. We love you.